Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you a 2005 Ram 2500 four-wheel drive. It's kind of a ranch truck. It's got the big ranch ham bumpers. It's got the famous 5.9 liter Cummins diesel engine. I pulled the cap off. I don't see any blow by at all. We just had the oil changed, a new fuel filter, a new air filter, checked all the fluids. It's got a brand new set of uh, Delta batteries. Let me go ahead and turn it off. But it runs real sweet. It's a six speed manual transmission, which is very popular. It's got the manual transfer case and the Lyo meter, I call it, showing 18.9 miles to a gallon. Those things aren't always accurate, but the 5.9 six speed tranny gets the best fuel mileage of any diesel. The driver's seat is in excellent shape, except for one little, little mark, little, little hole right there, but the side is good. The carpet's in good shape. It's got power seats. It's got power windows. This little trim piece, as I've seen before, comes loose, and it is loose. There's some wear on the steering wheel, the leather trim. You could put a, a cover on it. It's got the auto dimming mirror. And it comes with one, one key and one key fob. The, uh, the back seat is in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it's hardly been used. What's interesting about this truck Besides the big ranch hand bumpers, the truck was basically silver and they painted it with like a kind of a trunk. It's kind of a rough finish, almost like a bed liner type material, but the whole truck's painted like that. So if you run it through the bushes or the weeds, you're not going to scratch it. It does have a dent right back here on the tailgate and a pretty bad one right here in the middle. It's got a gooseneck ball in the back and a headache rack that's metal. The tires are basically, they look about new. They don't have very many miles on them. It's got chrome steel wheels. It's got the overload springs in the back. It's got some nice steps that come up the side, but you can see kind of the, the rough texture finish. And then on the bottom, it's like a satin black below the molding. And there's your uh, steps. Those are real nice. But you got fresh tires. It's got the really heavy duty bumpers on the front. You can see a few little dents right here on the edge, but it's the 5.9 motor. We just put a brand new set of maintenance free batteries. We did an oil change, fuel filter, oil filter. Got it lubed. Basically got it serviced and ready to go. So if you're out of state, you can fly in and drive this truck anywhere you want to go. The clutch is strong. I've shifted through all the gears. They shift good, they're smooth. There's no grinding. You can tell the truck originally was a silver, platinum silver truck before they put the, the ranch coating on it. But it's got a few flaws. The mirror is functional, but the, uh, the extension here, you can see it hit something, it's broken. It does extend out and they're heated mirrors. Those are good for towing. The truck is certainly isn't cosmetically perfect. You can see some of the silver paint coming through on some of the edges. But basically, if you're gonna use this truck for hunting, for a ranch, to work, pull a trailer, you don't have to worry about waxing it. Everything that needs to be good about the truck is good on this truck. You got the big heavy duty bumpers, fresh set of load rated tires. The six speed transmission is very desirable because you get good mileage. You don't have to worry about washing it and waxing it. And the interior of this truck is actually very, very nice. In fact, we'll take it for a spin. The radio knob is missing. I'll show you that. You can still turn the radio up and down with the actual knob. You could probably get one of those from the, from the Dodge house for about five bucks. It's got a brake controller. We'll start her up here. But there's no lights on the dash. Everything's in good running condition. And as I mentioned, the Lyo meter showing 18.9. Got, again, six-speed transmission. The AC blows cold, the heater works good. 
just a it's a good truck for the money if you don't mind the the paint job or the the lack of a paint job just kind of driving it down the road here needs a steering wheel cover I'm gonna pull over here and walk around and let you get one more look and we will wrap this video up one more look at the console and the guys we had clean the interior they put these plastic little carpet mats just to kind of keep it from getting dirty but there you have it it is a long bed normally these crew cabs have short beds so you got the advantage of a long bed which is good as a work truck the heavy duty ranch ham bumpers those are about probably for the pair fifteen hundred dollars fresh rubber there's a whole lot to like about this truck but again you never have to wax it never have to even wash it just use it change the oil and run it it'll get good mileage it'll pull trailers it'll definitely get the job done hope you have a great day this is Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and if you want a perfect truck cosmetically don't buy this truck but if you don't mind a few little dings and bruises and you need a good solid core this is a really good truck have a great day again hope to see you in our showroom soon i don't get get them like this very often but it's a good one have a great day